you won't believe how much easier this will make your golf swing. Now you must have heard that statement far too many times when looking at golf instruction videos, but, but using these three alignment sticks, we're gonna set you up much better in the backswing so you can get that feeling. I bet you've worked on this already. Hands dropping into the spot. Well, do this and it'll happen more often. This is the setup as I prepared earlier. Now, this could either be three alignment sticks if you're out on the driving range, or it could be the wooden bay behind, or if you're at home, it could just be a wall. Okay, first stage of this is simply just to rest the back of your bum on this red. Then place your hands across your chest. And what we're looking to do is be turning back and allowing our right pocket to touch this blue, okay? Then I'm gonna extend our arms, drop, and through. Now, the key thing to this is the first and foremost, we have to prepare better in the backswing. If you look at us like this, if you had no hip turn and lifted up this way, where are we gonna move our arms this way? If we allow ourselves to move around this way, we can then move this way and move through. So let me grab these pink cones. So they've not been on the channel for a while, so we thought, well, I've got to find a way to get them in. I know all of you love these. And it's funny, actually, a few people have been coming down for lessons here at Motching with me, and they're like, seeing all the uh, stuff on the tee and the lesson team, they're like, oh my God, you actually use these with the people in person? Yes, I do. So again, grabbing the cone out in front of us, and this is just something that you can just press in. It could be a basket, it could be simply anything. To the top, allow the hips to turn. Now allow the arms to fall hips to rotate, and in. So we're really trying to break this down into sort of three motions right now. One, allow the hip turn in the backswing. Two, this allows some space for the arms to fall. Three, rotate through. Now in reality, we'd want to build that up in a little bit more speed. But if we're new to golf, or this feeling's very new to us, and we've been trying to get this for ages, but we've got the same results, we're not getting it, let's flip it on its head. Let's try and learn it this way, I said of the title, you won't believe how much easier this makes it. Okay, so come to down the line perspective. I think you'll just see this really simply, how my arms and hands sort of fall into this slot. They sort of fall because I've created some space for them to do that. So on again. Now look at the space here, look where my arms can fall. Okay, let me do the opposite. Where my arms have to fall now. More hip turn more body turn, and through. Let me grab a golf club now. Now, you might be thinking, Alex, well, I really struggle with rotation. I really struggle to create that. Well, all I would say to you here is, I'd rather you make a shorter backswing, okay? Better tilts and better turns, and even if that means you only go to here, well, look how we still bring that club into the slot. If we turn good to here and we have to lift to try and finish our swing, that is where we're all going a little bit wrong. That is where we're gonna hit more errant shots and probably swing longer and not even have any extra power. Why would you do that? We wouldn't wanna do that. We wouldn't do that in any other sport. Think about it nice and simply. Go back as far as you can and make your golf swing as best as you can. This is the bingo moment for me. This is the bit where when I've got somebody in lesson and we bring in the golf club, it feels like, oh, all I can do is sort of hit through this space now, not through this space. So as you can see there, look at that slow-mo. Hands work nicely into this spot because I prepared it better in the backswing. Now, this is what I want to leave you with now. So, this is something that I think will give you a great feeling of starting the downswing, as well as preparing the backswing much better. So think of everything that we've spoken about so far, if you come to the down the line perspective with me, is about giving yourself some space and some room. So we talk about space and room. Look where my arms can fall now. Where they'll fall now. I don't turn as much. That deeper turn and through. Okay, so 
the feeling to start the downswing now, and I think this gives you some much more clarity, is while my hands are up here for as long as possible, can I feel as though I bring my bum behind me back to this red? So I move my right cheek onto the blue to start my downswing. I want to feel my hands stay as high as possible. They come back to the red, then into the yellow. So we're not only complementing what we do in the backswing, we're now complementing what we do in the downswing. So have a look at this here. I'm just gonna do this slowly, not a slow-mo, but just a slow, sort of slow motion swing. And I would really recommend you doing it like this. You'll get a real feeling of movement, and then you can take that real feeling of movement into something a little bit faster, a little bit faster, and a little bit faster. So bump just on the alignment stick to the top. Center it, keep the hands as high as you can. So you can really see there, I'm not thinking of bringing the hands down. That's now happening as a result of, not a consequence of. Okay, so you think of anything else in life, right? If I'm gonna throw a ball to you, and this is really, really good, bingo moment this. If I've got a ball behind me, I'm more inclined to rotate through. Now, if I take my ball out this way, I'm less inclined to rotate through, and more inclined to sort of throw it with this sort of spat side spin to try and get it to move to you. So everything that we're talking about in the golf swing now is get it more turned, allow it to be thrown, towards target by preparing some better hip turn and some better body turn, some tilts and turns. So, last thing here guys, just a final summary. If we get the hands across our chest, start with them across our chest, move better in the backswing, bum onto the wall or bum onto the blue, hands out, let them drop, rotate through. We then grab our cone, a little bit faster. Then grab our golf club. Feel as though you make some slow motion swings to start with. Build the space, build the pace up a little bit more, and then, well, you really make the golf swing feel super simple. So really look what I was trying to do there. Really focusing on a good backswing, good downswing, but as a result of good body movement. Now I should really be on commission from Alamazon for all these alignment sticks. Got a litter of them. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to tune in at the same time tomorrow.